picking up my next job, obviously while doing social distancing. Social distancing? Yeah, that's right. Um, you'll see what it is in a minute and what the job is. And also whether I can pick an engine up on my own, because my dad's got to stay two metres away from me. So he can't help me load it. This could be interesting. Right, remove my red beastie. So we have a battery. Let's get it on. It's all right. All right, not too tight. All right, no lock it. the exciting bit of the uh, part of this this is what we fit in which apparently is a Porsche engine I think 
it's a 914. No oil. Right, remember that. So we're gonna get this in and then get the engine up the camper. Uh get all the cars back inside because despite the fact it's really sunny and nice, it does look like it's gonna rain. Yeah. Alright. Hello. I don't know how I'm gonna arrange the filming that I've done. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna put all the loading and loading of the car at the end of the video, so you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Uh, I'm gonna just show this coming off the trailer. Well, you would have seen this, so there's no point in me explaining it to. Anyway, as you saw, this is the Porsche engine. Um, we've got a basically that's going into that. So we've got to work out how we're going to do it and what goes where, what we're going to need, how the heck that oil cooler is going to work because the one on the standard engine is on the back here somewhere in the tinway, how the tinway is going to work, alternate amounts. Actually, there's loads of stuff. But first thing we're going to do is get the engine out of there. First, well, get on the left, get the engine out of this, get the gearbox out of this, Get them side by side and see where we go from there. Easy if we say it fast. Alrighty then. Have our tool set up. Uh, just about on the left, I haven't lifted it yet. We have a GoPro. Start the time lapse. <laughs>
according to GoPro, that was 25 minutes. Uh, some of now I've got to get need on floor level really. Um, we'll look again the gearbox out in a minute. Uh, doesn't look hugely dissimilar at the moment. Even the clutch looks the same. But there's quite a few other bits which are not. So we're going to eat our sandwich and have a look where we go now. See you in a minute. Right, so we've got a box set up over there, stock camera. Um, strip some stuff off, make it a bit lighter, and see where we go. Hey, so it's safe to say this is a lot different, a lot, lot different. We're going to need more than a few parts for this. Don't even know what that is there. All right, we're going to have a swap around. Only bit really to take off is the crank pulley the rear engine mount if we can even get that to go on if it's even going to be in a similar place and the distributor but i think i'm going to leave the distributor for now because it's indicating what direction nice bit of play in there uh it needs to be pointing so this one my dad's fitted a oil temperature sensor in the sump plug, which means I can't put it down flat yet. So we're going to put it on the lift, drain the oil out of it, 
and then we can put the Porsche engine on the bench and bring that one up to the same height and not worry about oil going anywhere or breaking that pressure switch. Uh, yeah, and then we can have a look, direct comparison, and start making a list. And I think it's going to be a long list. <laughs> My phone lights up, but it's never you I can't help but feel so lonely And all these things that I can't undo I'm falling apart so slowly Come alive when we're faded The summer nights that we're chasing What this feeling to last forever This is, I'm sure VW people have been screaming this at the screen for ages. This is going to be more involved than we thought. Firstly, this is the Porsche engine. The cam covers are about a foot. And on that one, they are about mm, nine and a half. So front to back, so if we go off there, it's about, sorry, I'm going to switch to centimetres now. To the crank pulley is about 40 centimetres. And this one, is nowhere near 40 centimetres. It's nearer 35. Okay, now other differences, see if expertly catalogued, sort of, as per Western Champlin, another channel I watch on YouTube, he does trucks in America. Okay, going through, all the exhaust manifolds are different on this engine, they come from underneath, on this, they're in front and behind, so you need new exhaust manifolds. Crank pulley is completely different. This one is a, a keyway, and that one is definitely not. Um, this engine mount, I don't know what's gone on with this engine mount. Presumably this cross member is factory. Also presumably this green bracket that's been made from a bit of shelf is probably not. Now, I haven't got them exactly lined up, so this one is quite a bit further back on this shelf support thing. Um, now there is a there is four bolts in a similar place on the front of this engine to where that's bolted on, but I don't think that's going to be a lot of help. That is what the hell is that? another good question I think that must be oil yeah it's oil so where does that go um, <clears throat> on top this is what mounts the alternator on the VW engine uh, we've got this which is where the oil goes which is similar because the oil goes down inside this bracket that's got four bolts on it this has got what appears to be one hole. So that's no help. On the plus side, the clutch looks similar. As do the, where's my tape measure? If we 
So the top clutch bolts, if we roughly line that up, are about 19 centimetres. Obviously this needs to be more precise than this. Oh. The unit. It looks similar-ish, and the flywheel looks similar-ish. Um, you can see how much bigger the goddamn tape measure. Original barrels are sort of 10 centimetres at 10 inches. And again, these are way bigger than that. So, also inlet manifolds. Right, quick list. Inlet manifolds, exhaust manifolds, tin way. So far we're hoping the distributor is the same. There's no fuel pump on this engine, as far as I can see. So we need a fuel pump. We need an alternator bracket, crank pulley, uh, and then a method of mounting the back end. So it should be easy. It's, it's when you say it fast like that, no problem. So we're going to get the, the Porsche engine up on the table. And then get that one on the lift. So we can have them side by side, but up at a eye level. And then see if we can work out what we're going to do. And do I see... What we might do... See if it, this at least makes up to the gearbox, just as a starting off point. Uh, what I might do is do it without taking the gearbox out of the car. I just lash something up to hold the gearbox because it hangs down a bit otherwise. <coughs> um, yeah, let's let's swap those around first and see where we go from there. Together. Like I say, I'm sure there's vault driving people who are screaming at the at the screen. It's, it's, it's not even vaguely the same. It's not even vaguely the same. Um, made a short list. Uh, so, in the manifold is different. Yeah, exhaust complete is different. The tin weight is different. Or most of it is it's gonna have to be different because the oil cooler on this one is at the back of the car and the oil cooler on this one is straight up in the top which goes inside this section of tinway clutch this if you put the cover plate on it is about an inch too small to line up with these holes. To me, it looks like the gearbox will go on. These holes are in the same place. It's the same diameter. Flywheel is the same diameter. But this space is bigger. So I'm guessing this. So we've got that much space in the Porsche engine. And that much in the VW. It's hardly surprising. <clears throat> Oh, and the the bearing in the end of the crank is further in. So whether the input shaft needs to be changed or modified, don't know. You can't just unbolt the flywheel because this flywheel is on five bolts. That one's just on one big nut. Alternate mount oil cap filler, which I've touched on before. This one is, this is where you fill the oil. Alternator sits on it as a clamp round. That one, uh, I assume there's a cap which goes on here. Whether it does the same job, I don't know. Ah, oh, see that's got VW on it. I don't know what this engine is. Let's take a picture of that and do some research. Um, yeah, what else is on our list? 
crank pulley and rear mount. As we said before, crank pulley on this one is a keyway. This is a three bolts job. Don't know what these four threaded things are for. Oh, also. So at the moment we haven't got a mount. Uh, this is the rear of the engine, rear mount. These four bolt holes look similar, but that looks like it's got oil in it. And also we need something for this. Which, like I say, I think it's got oil in it. Doesn't appear to be... Oh, fuel pump. That's what, another one. We need to put on the list. Where's my pen? Now, I think... Oh. Play the game pen. <clears throat> what probably is this is probably I oh know it's got an oil cooler there. And there are filters there. So what this possibly can be for, I don't know. Whether this is a Porsche engine. Was a Porsche engine would have had a VW number on it, right? So, <laughs> apologies if this has all been a waste of time. I think we are going to do it, but we're not going to do it tomorrow, particularly at the moment. Getting parts to complete this conversion is not going to be easy. So, this may become a <laughs> what it might be is we put this one back in while we're amassing all the parts for the Porsche one so that when we come to it it's bang bang rather than this being here for months but I'll let you know we'll see where we go from here um yeah luckily I was a bit careful with the way everything's come apart uh hopefully we'll come back to this Hopefully it's been entertaining. Hopefully you're taking care. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.